We are gonna do a quick recap of kind of what I've been going on in the background. Everything from uh, the new job I started doing trail building, to taking the DJ apart, to going places with jumps that I'm probably not gonna be able to clear, or I'm just gonna have to walk away from, which is my favorite style of riding, is going places where there's things that I can't do. I need to have something else to go back for, something to look forward to. I'm at the city jumps. I forgot what they call this giant step up, but it's just huge and I just can't. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and flick through that later on in the video, kind of give you a highlight. But another thing was I started getting into doing trail building and really being a sculptor of the dirt. I'm a finisher, so I come behind the machine and I go ahead and line everything up. The machine piles the dirt and then a finisher's gotta come through and really like finalize it, rake it in, grade it, tamp it, and really carve it into what it's gonna be the final processes. Uh, I got into some complications with taking my DJ apart and getting it back together because I actually got it powder coated. We actually went to the river to name my DJ, and that was a lot of fun. I ended up hurting my ankle again. Hopefully you guys enjoy these pictures that I'm popping in and out of here, um, because again, it's like every three months I end up getting hurt somehow. So we'll kind of touch base on like getting hurt and kind of whatever I can do in the process. Thanks for sticking around, and we're gonna hop into this first situation that uh, you've been missing out on. Hope you enjoy it. So my first digging project was actually for a private bike park loop at someone's house outside of Raleigh. So we ended up putting in a lot of like medium features, small jumps, berms, little step downs, little tables, and it's created a great learning environment for the owner of this property, plus his kids, pretty rad stuff. Hopefully we'll get back out there and see if I can make a, another video about this place because it's very unique. This guy also had a swimming pool for skating in his front yard, like a specific skate style Jeez, swimming pool. Right. Alex hit me up, maybe we'll link up and I'll come out there and do a full video and like kind of highlight the property. I really enjoyed this project. I learned a lot about different tools and grading dirt. You can leave a pile of dirt and I pretty much can turn it into anything you want for the most part. One of the biggest tips would be using the right piece of equipment and you always need more dirt than you think. You're always gonna need another couple scoops full, another couple buckets or whatever you wanna call it because to make it look pretty, it needs to be a lot wider than you think and landings are always way lighter, wider than the lip. So just kind of grade that way. I always grade over to the landing and once you get the lip going, it's pretty good straightforward stuff. From here, we actually went to a place that is called Cincinnati, and I'm gonna call it the City Jumps. I got approval from the actual trail builder to kind of highlight these trails and what's going on. This is him right here. And what a great experience. And um, let's just go ahead and hop, let's hop right into that. Come here, Jen. This jump's pretty big, dude. It is pretty big. And there's oh, a lip down there. So we're gonna check it out. So I'm here to say to the people. Yeah. So uh, he says he would have told me anything here besides this big jump. Here's this big jump. He's not feeling it. We looked at the lip. The lip doesn't look too bad, a little washed out, but still firm. There's a lip on this side, it's flat on that side. So it's like people are short cutting the corner and not hitting this side, but this is boom. It's still really big. We have a measuring tape, but we can say it's definitely somewhere in between of 18 and 22. Yeah. Somewhere in the realm up. So let's, uh, let's get warmed up on some other stuff and then uh, maybe we'll get to this. You never know. Stay tuned. So one of the other things that I got into doing is I officially spined on with Box. So I'm actually a product tester and sponsor them for the 2021 year. I was sponsored for 2020. It was just kind of unofficial that I was sponsored by them and now it's official. And I actually got into uh, testing these wheels for them. And these are the new Stealth Hubs. They're silent, unlimited engagement. We wanna have the power down as soon as possible and the reaction time is what's important. So I'm really enjoying how it's just always there. The engagement's always there. And backed up with my Prime 9, it's just that the reliability of that situation now is, is what I want. You know, I'm not trying to be efficient. I'm not trying to be the lightest, but I want reliability. I wanna be able to smash. I wanna be able to get through things. With that being said, these wheels are amazing. They're gonna, they're gonna come out until next year. I'm gonna do a full review later on, but I'm excited to have them on my other bikes because I get asked, 
you know, all the time about like these wheels being silent and like the engagement. And I just tell people, you know what, go ahead and take the bike, grab the bike, pedal it, and you're immediately gonna see what I'm talking about. And, and like clockwork, all of them are like, wow, there's just like, there's no lack. Oh. I'm gonna get involved with some Enduros as far as helping promote them and being a race promoter with Go Nuts. I will be a coordinator of the Enduro stuff so I can go ahead and tag in some new features. Somebody wants to have the option of sending a 25 foot step down, give it to them. If it, it's gonna save them a second or two on the next person, it's definitely a skill set that not everybody's gonna have. And I'm super stoked to bring like an amped up version of uh, the Enduros to the scene. So we're gonna go ahead and get further on into the colder weather. So it looks like we're gonna have some more camping trips. Hopefully I can get out some truck videos and kind of explain some of the stuff that I've used. Also thinking about things that I would have changed. There's a couple different things like a power supply that I got that I'm gonna be highlighting, um, some traction boards. So with that being said, there's some lights and stuff that in my truck that aren't working. I keep on popping a fuse and this is gonna be like kind of Seth's area if he loves the electronic stuff. He's actually injured right now, so I'm not sure we're actually gonna get around to that part of it, but that will be part of my truck camping video coming up. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed like the highlight video of a bunch of the things that I've done in the background. Like, comment, subscribe, and pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes. It works though. Good recovery. It works. It works. <laughs>